I personally love classical music, especially Mozart, and in 1995, I think, I read an article in Newsweek called Your Child's Brain, or something like that. I remember it was written by a journalist named Sharon Begley. In it, she reported on the benefits of listening to classical music and such. I was a teacher already, but was staying home with Aspen, who was born in 1994. Of course I was interested in the idea of helping my own child developmentally, so the idea for Baby Einstein was born. The first video, which was then just called Baby Einstein, there was no language nursery attached, was an attempt to expose babies to the sounds of different languages, something I'd read about in the same article. And since both of my own parents are from other countries, Dad, Germany, Mom, Italy, I had myself been exposed to different languages, from birth. I used nursery rhymes to add a cultural element to the audio, each rhyme was traditional in the country, language being represented. And I went to a nearby language school and hired moms to do the readings in their native tongues. Today, it would take Mark Burr, Bill Weisbach and I about 8 weeks, start to finish. If we worked full time. But the very first video I made took about a year. They were the children of my friends. I was certainly never expecting Baby Einstein to become what it has become. Baby Mozart was beautifully timed which was a happy accident, right around the time of its release, the news was talking about the Mozart effect and the work of Don Campbell, who was a professor in Toronto, I believe. Favorite, Baby Van Gogh. Least favorite, Baby Newton. Yes, and I made them eventually, for the Wii School app. If I do have grandchildren, I will absolutely do so.